Hey, let's take a live look outside on this Tuesday morning. Is it going to be a red wine sort of a day or a white wine sort of mm. day? I say when it's cloudy, foggy like this, it's more contemplative. Uh, it's a red wine day for me. Jess, you? I would say red, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Something about the cool, cloudy. Yeah, it, it's a red day. G? Uh, I'm sparkling all the time. So, <laughs> yeah, you're the Give Sonoma girly. Any day of the week. <laughs> absolutely. All right, guys, let's take a quick look outside. It's so fun and it's amazing having the opportunity to have not only Napa, but Sonoma just in our backyard here in the Bay. And over near Napa and all the way over into Sonoma, we are dealing with some cloudy skies. That's the case along our coastline, too, as we wake up this morning. Heading into this afternoon, those clouds will start to lift, especially in our inland areas, and we will be left with some sunnier skies off near the East Bay and down into the Santa Clara Valley where daytime highs today are expected to hit the 70s and 80s throughout the Santa Clara Valley, 70s along the 101 heading up into Redwood City, and you turn around right all the way over into the East Bay we go, 80s in store for us from Livermore all the way up into Antioch, Concord, Walnut Creek, with 70s across the Bay Bridge once you head over into San Francisco, 60s a little bit more south, closer to Daly City. Let's head up to Sonoma and Napa real quick. 80s and 70s are in store for us all throughout this afternoon, and we have some changes in the forecast as we head into the rest of this week. We'll see a a little bit warmer weather day by day and we also have that persistent sea breeze and those clouds in those early morning hours definitely sticking around our coastline heading into the rest of this week high pressure starts moving in from our inland areas that'll warm our areas up like the Santa Clara Valley from the 80s that we have today to the 90s that we'll see heading into our weekend forecast another thing to mention too I had talked about that sea breeze winds heading into the afternoon hours they're going to be pretty gusty along our coastline areas like Bodega Bay down all the way into San Francisco anywhere up to around 30 miles per hour winds just into the three o'clock hour. We wrap up work and school today, head into our evening hours. Suddenly we're still dealing with about 25 mile per hour wind gusts just in the city of San Francisco. We're going to continue to keep a close eye on that. And another thing to mention too, the Climate Prediction Center showing above normal conditions heading in the next six to 10 days. So what does that look like for us? Let me show you our seven day forecast. Beautiful weather for us today, really, as we head outside. Of course, we have the clouds, but besides that, if you grab some red wine, you're in the reed club, I should say. Gianna, of course, would rather have that sparkling, but day by day, you're gonna want something to at least hydrate, especially as we head into this weekend's forecast. We have 90s in the forecast heading into this weekend all throughout our inland areas. We have 80s and 670s in the forecast throughout the bay and just along that shoreline. We're gonna continue to keep a close eye on this forecast heading into the next couple days. Those clouds are definitely sticking around though. For now, I'm gonna send it over to you, G.